The Rockets had won 14 in a row, 21 of 22 coming into this game. They had not lost a game that CP3 had played in. And guys, the Lakers start three rookies. They use some lineups and rotations we haven't seen. And they get the best win of the year. An amazing finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can see it coming in. <laughs> I, I think we all were, uh, you know, hoping for a win. But you know, going into the the Rockets' den, uh, an incredible team on a 14-win streak. It was, uh, you know, we didn't know that they were going to have this type of performance. But I believe that this is a result of some of those games that they probably should have won and didn't win. You know, I go all the way back to Boston, Milwaukee, the, 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 Golden, the Golden State win early. And those, those, those games hurt, and, 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 and I think you, you, you learn from that. So I think they, you know, they, they stuck together, and they did all the things they, they needed to do. Uh, 43 free throw attempts they had tonight. I think they had 27 of them. Uh, 27 assists on, on, on 40 made buckets, and they only turned it over 10 times. And, and they were extremely aggressive. Shot the three ball with confidence. And I just think it was a, it was a good win. But I don't think it came as a huge surprise. They've been, you know, chipping away at games like this. And they finally figured out a way to, to close it out. Big game, you let a lot of people off the hook by saying that it's not a big surprise. Because I think before this game started, there were a lot of people in here that didn't think it was going to go this way. I see some of your crew members. But, um, <laughs> but no, I think, in my opinion, Eddie knew. what I feel like tonight represents is when you have guys that get extended minutes like Corey Brewer, Josh Hart, Andrew mm -hmm. Bogut, and Larry Nance, it allows for guys like Kuzma, Ingram, Clarkson, ball even if those guys some guys didn't shoot the ball well etc the guys that are the scorers and the primary ball handlers yeah. to just naturally fit in and play their game think about the Warriors Draymond Green Pachulia Sean Livingston Andre Iguodala everybody's not looking to score there are clear offensive roles defined on the great teams you look at the Rockets it's Harden and Paul those are the key offensive playmakers so when you have guys missing and you plug in guys that are just the workhorse guys that are going to lock up on D, get rebounds, play hard, take charges, pick up six fouls. Yep. That's, those are the Rick Foxes, the Brian Shaws, the Robert Ories, yeah. the Lamar Odoms, the Luke Waltons, Trevor Ariza when he played with, with the Lakers. You need those guys on the court to balance out the team. And so I thought in tonight's game, that's what happened, was having those guys out there made it clear for Kuz yeah. to just offensively produce Lonzo made some good plays, uh, and, and it gave the, the Lakers a different type of balance out there on the yeah. offensive end that I like to You're see. You're talking guys like Bogut, Brewer, Hart, guys that don't get a lot of run. They were, they were huge tonight.